Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to the CMCMN, that is the Church Ministers, Children and Ministers Networking Telecast that is brought to you every Saturday and uh, where I invite the church ministers and especially the church ministers, children to share with us on what God is doing in these last days, especially for them knowing that he's going to use them powerfully in these last days revival. And even as we approach the coming of the Lord, which is going to be very soon because the signs that have been prophesied are already there. We are experiencing almost of everything that has been prophesied about the signs of the coming of the Lord. And we are grateful that the children of the ministers are going to be partakers of the greatest blessings that have been awaiting us. And that is the revival that is breaking forth. And I am glad that the children of the ministers are being used mightily in church planting in evangelism, in the apostolic move, in the prophetic. God is using them powerfully. They are preaching powerfully in the mighty way. They are great teachers of the word because the anointing upon their lives has been tripled, not only doubled, but it has been tripled because God is using them in a mighty way and he promised that the revival that we are waiting for is going to be greater than even all the revivals we've ever experienced because this is the last one as we wait for the coming of the Lord. Now get ready, get ready. If you're not born again, you better give your life to Jesus so that you can either be a, a, a parent of a CMC so that your children will be CMCs because this is their season. Don't allow your children to be left out. Let them be involved in the move that God is about to release in these last days. And now this week we are going to, uh, this time you're going to share about something that is glorious, that is very, very important important especially when we are looking and even looking at the revival that is coming forth and uh, this is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries this is mother to the CMCs around the globe and also mother to the amazing champions the children we take care of uh, we've been taking care of them for the last 20 years in Nairobi and I'm grateful for all our partners that has been uh, have been supporting this work and even all our partners that have been supporting even the church the work that God has planted in our lives and is doing mighty things even through our ministry and through our church God bless you as you purpose also to partner through our website that is uh, you can already you can see our website you can partner through our website and you can also uh, like subscribe and even follow us on Facebook and YouTube well, before I invite our speaker for today, because I invite the children of the ministers to share and pour out that which God has planted in them, I would want us to um, to hear the word of God. But before we do that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence. We thank you that you're doing a mighty work in our, in our lives. And we thank you for this service that you have allowed us even to have. We pray that you be involved in everything that will be shared, that you are going to touch many lives, use them and build them for your glory. We honor you for those ones that you are saving through this channel. The many that you're going to touch and many that you're going to heal and even restore and build to be Become vessels that are going to be used mightily in your kingdom. We thank you and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I believe you're inviting all your friends, you're inviting your ch the church ministers, all that you know, and God is going to bless you. Now, as we are going to share on what God is doing, actually this time we're going to share about the benefits of thanksgiving, because you know what? You've got to give thanks. Whatever you're going through, whatever you have, whatever God is doing in your life, you're going to be grateful. If somebody has done something good to you, please be grateful. Just say a word of thank you, because you don't have to do much. You don't have to give them something but what you need to do is you have to make an in impression of being thankful you got to be thankful many people do not know how to do it many people are i don't know what hinders them from being thankful but we are going to be grateful it doesn't matter if somebody has done a big thing or a small thing whatever somebody does to you we are going to be grateful we are going to thank them and we are going to see various ways on why you how you can thank them and 
why you should do it that way. In Psalms chapter 95 verses 2 to 4, the Bible says, let's come before his presence with a song of thanksgiving. So if you want to go before the presence of the Lord, the best thing to do is to go with thanksgiving. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you in the morning. I thank you in the noontime. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you when the sun goes down. Remember to thank the Lord as you enter into his presence with a song. And then let's shout joyfully to him in songs with instruments. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods, in whose hand are the depths of the earth. The peaks of the mountain are also his. Why are we thanking the Lord? One, and even why are we going before him joyfully with songs and instruments? We are doing it because he is a great God and he is also a great king. He is the great ruler and the way he rules, he doesn't rule like the earthly rulers. He rules in a wonderful and in a mighty way, a glorious way, an awesome way, an amazing way. So that is why we need to thank him because we know that is above all the gods. He is also his hand. Uh, he, we are told that his hand is, is in the depths of the earth. It's able to reach the depths of the earth. You cannot reach the depths of the earth, I'm telling you. You cannot reach the deepest part of this world. You cannot reach the deepest soul in this world. It's only the Lord that can reach the deepest. Uh, the, and the word continues to tell us in Psalms 116 verses, uh, verses 17 from New American Standard Bible. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. So choose to sacrifice unto the Lord. The sacrifice, the best sacrifice you can make unto the Lord is a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Choose to do that. Go before the Lord with a sacrifice that you can offer. What can you offer? Can, what, can you give yourself to the Lord? What do you have? What are your earnings? Can you give part, that part of that as a thanksgiving offering and a sacrifice unto the Lord? Whatever you can offer to the Lord, what is it a sacrifice? You give your best. That is the best of the best. Choose to give the best today unto the Lord. And if you don't know where you can give, you can choose to give through our ministry. You can see the, the, the way you can give in this ministry and God is going to bless you as you purpose to thank the Lord by offering him a thanksgiving sacrifice. And then he tells us in Psalms 111 verses 1 to 3, also from New, um, uh, New American Standard Bible, it says, Praise the Lord, I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. In the company of the upright and in the assembly, great are the works of the Lord. They are, stead, uh, they are studied by all who delight in them, splendid and majestic in his work, and his righteousness endures forever. So what you need to know is we are praising and thanking the Lord, not with just part of us, but with the whole heart. Whatever we have, we are thanking the Lord with everything we have. We are in the company of the upright, in the assembly of the people of the great, and even all those that you are going to be, to be in touch with. You are supposed to thank the Lord with them. Why? Because... All these they've studied uh, by all uh, they, they are studied by all who delight in them, splendid and majestic in his work. So you the, you are you are blessing the Lord and thanking him for all these, and even because of his righteousness which endures forever. His righteousness is not only for a season that you're gonna say that you know what this time I was unable to walk in righteousness. No, his righteousness endures forever. So and God is the only one who can cause you to walk in righteousness 
And therefore, you are able to cry unto the Lord and call him and tell him, Lord, I need to walk in righteousness. I'm a neighbor. I need to walk in righteousness. And the Lord, because he's a righteous God, will be able to come right where you are and be able to take care of you and move you to a new level. Let us delight in the Lord. Let us delight, you know, in the company of the upright and in the assembly. Let us thank the Lord. What, what company do you have? Where, whom are you walking around with? What, whoever you have, whoever you're walking with, the multitude you're with, can you learn to thank the Lord? Let the Lord be thanked in every situation, in whatever you're doing, in whatever little that has happened into your life. Waking up one day at a time, that is something to thank God for. Breathing the fresh air, you're breathing, that's something to thank God for. Even opening your mouth and even opening your eyes to see and even your ears to hear what I'm saying today. That is something we need to thank God for. Whatever you have, even your looks, you need to thank God for what you have or how you look because there's somebody that will not even appear anywhere right now because of how they are. Maybe the enemy has messed them up. But you that has Lord has preserved you, has kept you pure, has kept you holy, has kept you upright, has kept you fit, even your body is fit. And even whatever you have, you have a sound mind, you need to thank the Lord because he has called you at a time like this to walk in his way and even to please him. May the Lord bless you. And now it is my joy to welcome one of my daughters to come and minister to you. And you know what? She shares my name. She has my names. And it gives me joy because she is one of the pioneers and amazing grace. So you are going to be blessed as you hear the CMC Grace. Here is Mom Grace and now CMC Grace is going to share about Thanksgiving with us right from the pulpit at Abundant Glory International Ministries. Right at the altar, she's going to share what God is doing in her life and what she's grateful and what she's encouraging all of us to be thankful. Very welcome, welcome Grace and be blessed. Enter his gates and his gates with thanksgiving and his court doing praise. Give him thanks and give thanks to him. Bless his name. Verse 5. For the Lord is good and his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Praise God. This verse is not from here. Change the language of the Lord with thanksgiving. So, we are not quite joyful. No matter what happens, always be thankful for this is God. This is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Praise God. So, the next number, Atakama, you're going through something. No matter whatever is happening in your life, always thank God. Praise God. Okay, to speak with the Christians, they thank God for Kati, Munga, Mofanya. You have to thank God even in your tough times. Praise God. I am suffering in pain. Rescue me, O God, by, by your saving power. Praise God. Uh -huh. Then I will praise God name with singing and I will honor it with thanksgiving. Praise God. So, here was the tongue. Even though you are in pain, you have to thank God. Praise God. God will come through Atakama. You are at the moment, your enemies are surrounding you. Praise God. Let them praise the Lord for His great love and for all His wonderful deeds to them. 
for he satisfies the thirsty and fill the hungry with good. It's praise God. So if you praise the Lord and if you keep on thanking God, He will satisfy your thirsty and He will fill you. Praise God. Even in whatever you're going through, if you keep on thanking, th- thanking God, He will satisfy you and He will meet all of your needs. Praise God. Atakama. You're having trouble in whatever you're going through. As long as you keep on praising God, as long as you keep on thanking God, He will come and meet all of your needs. Praise God. Thank you, Grace, for that wonderful time and even for sharing uh, about Thanksgiving. We're going to invite you again, Grace. You know, you're going to hear what God is saying and what God is putting into your heart. And before we go far further, I would want us to share our in the book of Luke chapter uh, chapter 17 verses 11 to 18 this is a story you all know it's about the men with leprosy that were healed by Jesus let's see what happened I like uh, referring everything to the word of God I don't like telling stories I like people from here the word of God because the word of God is sure the word of God is established in heaven forever and the word of God is exalted above God's name that is what God has done to his word that's what I want you to hear his word and now in the new american standard bible the bible says while he was on the way to jerusalem he was passing between samaria and galilee and as he entered a village 10 men with leprosy who stood at a distance met him and they raised their voices saying jesus master have mercy on us when he saw them he said to them Go and show yourselves to the priest. And as they were going, they were cleansed. Now one of them, when he saw that he had been healed, turned back and glorified a God uh, with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at his feet, giving thanks to him. And uh, he was a Samaritan, but Jesus responded and said, they were there not ten cleansed, but the nine, but the nine, um, where are they? Was no one found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Imagine, this one was a Samaritan, but the others, they took it for granted. That is why, even if you're a Christian, you should not take things for granted. Even if you're born again, even if you're a minister, even if you're a CMC, don't take things for granted. That God has allowed you to enjoy the favor that you're enjoying right now. The Lord has allowed you to enter into new reigns. The Lord has allowed you to walk in the in his ways and even to do mighty things do exploits in the kingdom of god don't take it for granted cmcs don't take it for granted pastors don't take it for granted bishop don't get it take it for granted you apostles the teachers of the word and every preacher i'm here to let you know do not take things for granted don't take them easily because the lord has called us to give thanks he has called us to come back and tell him thank you for what has happened to us what is it that you have been believing god for what is it that other people have done for you what is it that god you have been asking the lord to do for you and he has blessed you through other people god has chosen some vessels to use them so that you can be blessed and receive the answers to the prayers that you have been praying right? but you have just kept it as if it is uh, it is obvious for God to answer your prayers you need to be thankful you need to come back to him and the, the time you spent when you are asking for that thing that many hours you spent when you are calling on the Lord even the fasting that you took whatever you did so that you can pray, receive that which you have received you need to go back to the Lord and tell him thank you you need to thank him for the great things that he has done because his God is almighty he's seated on the throne and you know these men he came back to thank God and he was a Samaritan he was a foreigner according to the standards he was nothing according to the standards of those days he was considered almost an outcast but he came unto the Lord don't allow the, uh, those ones who are outside to be born again and come and thank God and you yourself you've never even thanked God for the many things he has done even keeping you born again keeping you safe keeping you secure keeping you alive 
You need to thank God for everything that he has bestowed upon you. And you know what? As you thank him, he is going to use that as a, uh, as a way of reaching many and even allowing many to experience the power of God through you because you have thanked the Lord. Be thankful unto the King of Kings. Let him experience, let him receive those thanks as he has continued to receive your prayers because you have been praying for. Now in Acts uh, chapter uh, 2 verses 4 to um uh, okay, uh, Acts chapter 2 verses 46 to 47, New American Standard Bible. Day by day, continuing with one mind in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they were taking the meals together with gladness and sincerity of heart praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord was adding to their number day by day those who were being saved. That is what is going to happen as we continue to thank God, as we continue to have even a moment of thanking God together. Yes, you need to thank God as an individual, but also there are times you need to thank God as a team, as a group. As you know, we need to gather together and thank God for what He has done to us as a team, as a family. We need to thank God as a church. We need to thank God as a body of Christ. As we gather together, as we come together to thank the Lord and not only just thanking him but we are thanking him uh, with the uh, gladness and sincerity of heart we are praising him and we, we, what is going to happen we are going to experience favor not only with God but even with the people and as we experience the favor with the people, they are also going to desire to be like us. They will desire to walk in the ways of our God. They will desire to listen to what God is saying. That is why we need to walk in God's way and even to serve him as we wait upon the King of Kings. And um, in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 18, New American Standard Bible, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God of for you in Christ Jesus. So this is also almost like a conclusion. That in whatever you're doing. In everything you do. Whatever you're doing. Start with thanksgiving. If you have time to eat. Start with thanksgiving. Thank the Lord for the food. And even when you finish the, eating the food. Thank the Lord that you've managed to eat the food. And eat and well. And you've not been choked as you were eating. Do you know there are many people who have been choked to death. Because when, when they were eating. There are people who cannot swallow. There are people who cannot, they are, they are now being fed with the, in, with the tubes. But you are able to eat and chew and you're able even to enjoy your meal. You're even able to eat three times in a day or even, even more than three times a day. And you need to thank God. You need to really, really, really thank the Lord for what he has done unto you. You need to bless the King of Kings for the great things that he has continued to do into your lives for he is able to do mighty things. He is glorious. He is powerful. He is everlasting. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 as I conclude, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is one of the results we need to thank God. Every day God has given us victory. Every day God has given us victory with our friends and even with our enemies. God has given us victory with everybody, with every situation. God has given us victory. Imagine in every situation, God has given you victory. You've been probably been unwell, but God has given you victory. You've probably not been feeling too well, too good. I mean, the Lord has given you victory. You've been able to open your mouth and see something. You've been able to open your eyes and see. You've been able to walk around and even hear. You've been able to do mighty things and even touch them with your hands. You've been able to lift up your hands unto the Lord and glorify the King of Kings as you lift up your holy hands unto the Lord. Lift them up and lift them unto him in thanksgiving. Thank the King of Kings because he's able to receive those thanks. And he's telling you that you know what? He has given us victory. Not because we are good. Not because you are powerful. Not because you are prayerful. But because of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a joy. That through our Lord Jesus Christ we have victory. 
one after the other. May the Lord bless you as you purpose to walk in his ways, as you purpose to serve him, and as you purpose to honor him with the, with the life that he has continued to give you, and even with the ministry he continues to give you. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. This is Mother to the Amazing Champions and Mother to the CMCs around the globe. Please uh, welcome to our website at www.agracem.org. Please uh, uh, partner with us, log into that, and you're able to get into our website, uh, into our Facebook, and even our YouTube, where you can follow, subscribe, and even like and even share with as many people as you can share. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, that is at Bishop Dr. Grace Karyuki and also at Karyuki Bishop Dr. Grace. Be blessed for now. I look forward to be with you actually uh, in the coming week with our devotion. The devotion time is going to be glorious. I am telling you, God is giving me wonderful and powerful messages all the time. I am grateful to God for what he is doing. Be blessed for now as you look unto the Lord, for he is mighty. He is about to do a great and a glorious things. For now, shalom, shalom, shalom.